ready to master futures trading on OKX. Learn the essentials of perpetual and expiry futures, two of the most common crypto derivatives. A futures contract is an agreement between two parties to sell an underlying asset, such as Bitcoin, at a specific price on a future date. Buyers can go long by buying a futures contract and will profit if the price of Bitcoin increases. Or they can go short by selling a futures contract, profiting if the price drops. Perpetual futures, unlike expiry futures, do not have a set expiration date. You can keep positions open as long as you have enough balance. To begin trading futures, let's head over to the OKX app. From the home screen, tap and trade. Next, tap on the crypto pair drop down menu and select futures. Use the search bar or scroll to select your preferred cryptocurrency and the type of contract you wish to trade. If expiry futures catch your interest, tap all and select expiry. We've got you covered with options ranging from weekly to bi-quarterly, each named after the asset and its settlement period. This variety ensures you can find a match for your trading strategy. Now, let's unpack what margin means in this context. Margin is essentially the deposit required as collateral to open a futures position. Depending on your preference, you can opt for crypto margin, using the actual crypto or U margin, leveraging your USDT USDC balance for margin and settlement. Next up, choosing a margin mode. Cross margin mode allows for an integrated approach where all trades settled in the same currency can share a single margin pool. This means your profitable positions can help balance out the losing ones. Alternatively, isolated margin mode offers a segmented strategy, isolating the risk and reward of each position to prevent one from affecting another. Leverage is a double-edged sword, amplifying both potential gains and losses. For instance, with 2x leverage on Bitcoin futures, a 10% price increase results in a 20% gain, while a 10% drop doubles your losses. It's crucial when using leverage to monitor your margin ratio closely. Falling below a specific threshold could trigger a liquidation of your position. We recommend starting with lower leverage to minimize liquidation risk, especially for beginners. Before you place your order, adjust your leverage amount, order size and type accordingly. Tap buy to initiate a long position or sell to go short. Stay informed by scrolling down to view your open orders, active positions, margin ratio and profit and loss PNL. Exiting your position is straightforward. Set your desired closing price and quantity, then tap close or close all as applicable. And there you have it. With these steps, you're fully prepared to embark on futures trading on OKX.